You found a feather? Haha, <laughs> I think so. No way. Maybe. See? A little downy feather. You found a fossil feather. That is nuts. There are only a few spots in the world where you have the preservational environment, depositional environment to preserve fossil bugs. And Joe is literally right over one of those few spots. Joe's already been digging for a little bit and look at the perfect detail in those. You got some nicer ones over here too. Yeah, so these are our marsh one. flies, right? Yeah. So we've got marsh flies from the ancient lake that used to be here and they are preserved perfectly. The bug layer is about the bottom inch of this capping right above this weird sugary layer. This bottom rock is extremely carrageen rich, which is what preserves, you just found another one, mm -hmm. preserves these fossilized bugs. This isn't as good as this. This, this, stuff down this, there. this inch right here is what's got the majority of the bugs right above this sugary crack. Yep, there's the salt layer that marks the bottom capping rock that is right below all of these fossil bugs that we're finding. Here's a better look of the sugar layer or salt layer that marks the end of the bugs. Joe and I believe it's gypsum, not salt or sugar. Sugar obviously, but that's cool. So they had an evaporite mineral deposit here. So at one point, I guess the lake had to have dried up and deposited all of this evaporite out of solution. But that marks the bottom of the bug layer. Bug. Keep finding all those bugs, jeez. Oh my goodness. Bug, bug, bug. Joe found not one, not two, not three, four, five bugs, but a lot. I like that one way up there. That one's the nicest one. That one is really nice. Wow. A lot of bugs. A lot of, a bugs. lot of live bugs. A lot of live mosquitoes too, just eating us up. A lot of mosquitoes out. Oh, look at this gastropod. Cool. You got a bug? Well, I've got a really nice 52 million year old 3D preserved gastropod. That's awesome. Bug. Another bug? That's the kind of bug I'm looking for. Like Joe said, these are marsh flies. They're the most common bug to find in these lower rocks. But there are other cool bugs like hornets and dragonflies, but they're extremely rare. If we find one of those, we are going to absolutely flip out because that's such a cool piece of history. That's another little feather, I think. Hold it still. Look at that. Oh wow, that is another feather. Mm-hmm. Joe, you've got to be kidding me. I've never found a feather before. And now you've got two. That was so pretty. Well, I've got four. The positive and negatives. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that side's really nice. That's amazing. Honestly, we weren't expecting to find those feathers. There are few places in the world with bugs and there are even fewer places where you have enough fine detail preservation to first of all preserve feathers and then enough oil and mineral to give them color. So that feather we saw earlier is something I'm actually really jealous of and it's something really cool. It's such a unique little snapshot of geologic time and natural history. I got a bug. You got a bug? That's a lot of bugs, Joe. Mm -hmm. There's an actual mortality layer of bugs. It has a specific color to it. This whole inch down here will have bugs in it, but then that one layer will have seven or eight of them on a sheet. Just like that last one. Yep. There's another bug. So what we're digging in right now is referred to as a logger stotten. L-A-G-E-R-S-T-A-T-T-E-N. But I have no idea if I'm actually pronouncing it correctly. But a logger stotten refers to any site that preserves fossils to a degree that is beyond normal. And the Green River is one of those sites. There's also one in Germany, um, Holzhofen? Sonhofen. Sonhofen. Sonhofen is another site that preserves fossils to a degree that's above normal. Speaking of Sonhofen, this is actually one of their quarry's chisels. You can't get these anymore. They're supposed to be the best for shale. Joe! <laughs> Can you see them? I got the positive of a nice bug right there and the negative to it right there. 
split perfectly on it. And we've got a bug right there and another really nice one right there. Lots of bugs, lots of bugs and one caveman. Mm. What did you say you found? Bugs. Oh, you found a bug. Mm -hmm. Nice. Dead bug. That beautiful Wyoming sunset is our signal to get out of here and dig another day. But we found some really beautiful bugs in not a very long period of time. We are gonna come out here again later. But I wanna see that feather again before we have to leave. There's Joe's feather one last time before we head out. That's really incredible. That level of detail after 52 million years. It's really, really cool. We've got the positive and the negative of it, and we've got plenty of really nice bugs that Joe found today. It was pretty ridiculous, but there is more stuff to find here. There's probably billions of bugs dead in this formation. At least one or two more. At least one or two more. And we'll come out here tomorrow and find them. Joe and I are back at the quarry for another day of digging up these fossil bugs. Today has been really slow so far, but apparently, Joe just said he has another feather. Yeah, right there. Oh. I dinged it with the chisel. But that is a feather. Mm-hmm. Is it the negative over there? Yeah. Dang, dude. Three. Three feathers. You had zero before this, and now you have three. Yeah. Been a good couple days. I just got my first nice one for today. There she is. Really good marsh fly. There's the positive, a lot of it's still under a little bit of rock. And then the negative is right there. Sweet. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's a nice one. It's a really nice one. That is a perfect little guy. That's a perfect little guy. <laughs> that's a nice one. There's a good one right there. You nice. put that rock down a bit more though. Kind of curled up. Yeah, that's all right. Ooh, there's another halfway decent one. This in a yeah. This in a wing. Show you guys real quick. There's that bug. Real cute one. Missing a wing, but still very nice. First frame. What? This little corner right here that just popped off had two. Nice. Follow yeah. that layer, it'll have a lot more on that it. That layer, yeah, that layer will be good. That layer will be really good. I think you that's the same layer right here that's got this bug. Yeah, you might have hit the mortality with that layer. There could be some nice groupings. So above that gypsum layer that looks kind of like salt. There is a bug mortality layer, and it looks like I might have just found it. There's that thin sliver of rock that shows the mortality layer. So I'm gonna follow where this piece came off of, and hopefully there'll be a lot more cool bugs there. Here is that mortality layer. I wonder if you guys can guess how many bugs are on this one slab. If you guess the correct number, you win the slab. I really don't. John's not very generous then, is he? <laughs> Let us know in the comments below how many you think are on this. How many do you expert fossil hunters think are on here? One, two, three. You got the bug layer? Yeah, one, two, three bugs. Let me see them bugs, Joe. Ooh. Where's the third? Oh, the third bug, peeled bed. Bug, bug. Oh, peeled on that side? Yeah. Oh, well. Good find, though. Yep. Oh, is that a fish right there? Probably. Let's see if I can't save it. Doesn't look likely though. Ooh, that's a nice one. We've got another unique pair of bugs stuck together forever. Really like this one up top. You can't really tell because of the lighting, but there's also a fossilized poop right there underneath the bug. Cobra light. Ooh, it's a seed. Yeah, tree of heaven seed. 
uh, Ailanthus confusi. Confusi. Confusi? Confusi. Whatever it is. Ailanthus. There's that tree of heaven seed. Really cool. Even the smallest little things that might go get lost to obscurity get fossilized here. This slab is almost up, and I wanted to show you guys the reveal as we start breaking this apart piece at a time. Right there. It's a really nice bug. Leaf. Bug and leaf. Nice leaf. It's really cool. Ooh, there it is. It's down. Not bad for one split. That was not one split. Well, one slab. Not bad for one slab. Between the feathers we found yesterday, today's feather, today's leaf, and the multitude of bugs we've managed to recover, it's been a pretty good trip. We've got some of today's coolest finds laid out. That leaf really is pretty incredible. And the fine level of detail on it is so cool. And it's got a couple different bugs on the same plate as well as that negative to Anidia. If you move over here, we have those two bugs that started us off on the mortality plate. So those are really cool individuals, and it was really fun to follow those two bugs and find the rest of those cool ones. Joe found his third feather in the past couple days, which, I don't know, he has had zero before, now he has three. It's really cool. I think the feathers are really beautiful. And I love seeing that fine little fingers coming off of the main tendril, the main stalk. So, congrats Joe, that's pretty sweet. After the past couple of days of digging, we are pretty tired and we've run out of available rock behind us, so it's time for us to now get out of here. If we cover Joe with enough sediment and give him enough time, he might become a fossil of his own. Can you stop filming me sleeping? I'm trying to sleep. Hot out. Ha, 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 ha.